Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Let me just start this video in saying I am refilming this because I didn't turn my stream music off and there was massive Zelda music on the back of my entire video. So I have to reshoot this whole goddamn thing. So I went upstairs, I vented, I made myself a coffee and we're back to talk about OnlyFans, talk about how to make mad money on OnlyFans and tips and tricks to get started. Oh, fuck yeah. All right, <laughs> so recently, because of COVID-19, let's just state this right now, there is a huge influx in content creators online, a huge influx of one, people being really bored, and secondly, two, uh, girls thinking that it's easy to make content online, uh, preferably OnlyFans, uh, things of a sexier type nature, and I'm here to tell you you're wrong. <laughs> no, I'm here to tell you some tips and tricks to get started, how to help yourself grow on a site like OnlyFans, but also just like how to deal with this in general. Because first of all, like I said, there's a huge influx in models, in girls online, trying to make money through their bodies, through lingerie, through porn, whatever the heck you want to call it. There's, you know, a lot going on. And because of everyone losing their jobs, a lot of people losing their jobs, a lot of time having, a lot of people having free time on their hands, we see this influx in, in sites like OnlyFans because just because of how everything's going on. So I want to start this video by saying content creation is hard work. I want to say that right off the bat, whether it's OnlyFans, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, it's work. Get that in your heads right now, girls. Um, guys, too, if you're watching this, I know there's going to be guys watching this. Content creation is a lot of work. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of motivation. It's a lot of dedication as an individual and you being the only person in your life making sure you do things. So I want to make sure you know right off the bat, hard work. This is a lot. You need to be prepared to put in the work to see money. This doesn't just happen overnight. So let's get into OnlyFans and social media as a whole right away. OnlyFans is a site in which primarily, <laughs> sorry, I'm like just trying to get comfy here. I've already been sitting in this chair for like eight hours a day. It's been a long time. OnlyFans is primarily a site that deals with a more adult type of clientele and that's only because it's one of the only sites out there that still allows adult creators, right? And so you can create any type of content on OnlyFans. It doesn't have to be sexual in nature, but because it's one of the only sites that allow that type of content, of course, all the sex workers have flocked to it and made it their own because it's one of the only places that they belong, to be honest, because advertisers don't like anything of a sexual nature. Boobs and, and butt is apparently the devil on Facebook and Instagram and Twitch and YouTube these days. I can't tell you how many times I have to re-upload thumbnails that have an inch of booty in it on YouTube. It's ridiculous. So OnlyFans has become a very normal place for it. Guys watching... Don't assume girls do pornographic content just because they have an OnlyFans account. Do not sign up to girls' OnlyFans expecting uh, close-up pussy images. I get these messages all the goddamn time. It's annoying. No, just because a girl is on OnlyFans does not entitle you to ask them, hey, can I have a close-up of your vagina, honey? No. Please research the content creator. Please figure out what they do ahead of time. Ask nice questions, but don't be a dick about it. Okay, out of the way. Girls, OnlyFans is just like any other type of content creation website. It takes a lot of hard work, takes a lot of time, a lot of dedication, and really growing and knowing yourself. Okay, just like Twitch and YouTube and everything like that, you have to gain a following. You have to create good content in order to get people to come to you and <laughs> come to you. I'm sorry, I'm such a loser. 
where was I? <laughs> to make people think that you are um, worth enough in their lives to give you their money, right? I find this a lot with content creators in general. It's a big issue on Twitch these days. I literally just made a video about it on my gaming channel. Creators thinking they're entitled to people's money just because they're creating content. No, no. It's not how it goes. If you create good content, if you're consistent, if you're true to yourself, if you do a good job, people will start throwing their money at you. People don't have to throw their money at you just because you're creating content. You want to make sure what you're doing is good, it's quality, it's awesome, and there is a audience for it. You need to diversify. <laughs> I say that as I scratch my nose. You need to diversify your content. You need to be on as many social media sites as possible. I get this question a lot. Well, where do I promote? I don't have big social medias. I don't have this. I don't have this. I have 100 followers on Instagram. <sighs> well, good luck. No, <laughs> no, it's in all serious th seriousness, though. You need to have your social medias in check. You need to be on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. Um, you need to have good searchability for your content. You need to be across multiple platforms so people can find you, right? You don't want to be constantly promoting your paid sites, but you want it to be readily available if people want it. You want to engage in trending things online, have fun with your content. Don't, don't just do like one style. Like for example, if you're doing nude work on OnlyFans, totally cool. Don't just post about that. Don't just post that you could see more here all the time. It's going to get stale. People are going to realize that you're not, you're not in it for the right reasons. You're literally in it just to make money off of it and take people's money. They're not really going to be down for that. Be a good content creator. The money will come. It doesn't matter what it is. Like I said, a lot of these points are going to pertain to every other social media. OnlyFans, though. What if you don't want your family to know? What if you don't want your... Significant other to know. Well, that's not a good thing. You should let them know. What if you are using an alias for your name? What if you don't want to post it on your social medias because it's different? Create an alias social media. Try to grow those. Um, my main suggestion, though, would be to be on more traditional camming sites. Be on MFC. Be on uh, Chatterbait, I think it's called. I, I get that on my Twitch streams all the time. Be on... Pornhub, have a Pornhub account. Be on all these sites as your alias because like I said, OnlyFans isn't really discoverable. Like there's no discoverability. You need to funnel people to your OnlyFans somehow. How are you going to do that? You need to have social medias everywhere else. You need to be creating content. If And if you want to keep it completely separate, you then need to find a way to keep it completely separate but have other social medias for that content and what you can post. So in line with that, quickly, your content could get leaked. Your content could get stolen and leaked. There are sites that will help you take it down. OnlyFans will help you take it down. That's why they have the little watermark on it. All you got to do is send them the, the link and they will claim, they will do copyright claims for you and take the content down. It may take a few days, but they will do it because it is stolen content. People are idiots. They're going to try to steal your stuff. I don't know why you paid for it. Why would you want to steal it? Give it away for free. Not the smartest cookies in the cookie jar there, but come to the realization that your content could potentially be leaked and you have to deal with that and, you know, just push through it, not get too emotional about it. Do your best. There's always the chance that that is going to happen. All right. You can geoblock OnlyFans just like you can geoblock traditional camming sites. So that is also an option just in case you want to go that route if you want to be more secretive. But I'm just saying right now, um, as a content creator, you need those decent social medias for something like OnlyFans. Like they kind of just go hand in hand. And 
you're not going to make as much money if you have no social media to promote. Let's talk about content creation in general and how to make content and what to make content, <laughs> what to make content, what kind of content to make ideas, all that kind of stuff. Be as creative as possible. I think it's very um, good to sit down and write notes, write out what you want to do. I wrote notes for this whole goddamn video. Um, <laughs> I write out my sets every single month for OnlyFans, every single month for Patreon. Um, I think I have, like, I'll show you. I have April sets for Patreon, bronze, silver, platinum, diamond, videos, titanium. I have a list of all of the things that you would be getting from me in April. I keep tabs on them. I have notes on everything that I'm doing. I take notes on things that I want to shoot, when I'm going to shoot it, if I were to book studios, the progression of the looks that day, unfortunately, with COVID-19, can't be doing that right now. But I brainstorm and I make notes on things that I want to shoot. Think about the months. Think about the seasons coming up. Is there anything special that you want to shoot? Any special, like, occasions? All that kind of stuff. Themes. Try to keep it as fresh as possible. Try to use other girls and other creators as inspiration. Don't copy from them. But you know, follow people, follow people and get inspired by them. Oh my gosh, like this girl did an amazing nude glitter set. I would love to do something like, like that. Maybe have a different background color, maybe like a different lighting setup. You know, you can do things that other people do. Just try to keep it original to yourself at least. Be active on your OnlyFans daily, especially if you have a paid subscription and that every single person has to subscribe money to see your content be active check your messages i tend to do it once every morning once every night be good with staying active on your only fans those people are sub to you they should get precedence over every other free social media site and believe me if they follow you on other social media sites they will take note on how much you're posting for free and and versus your timeline on only fans so really keep that into perspective make sure you do that. Take advantage of the scheduling system. You can schedule posts on OnlyFans. If you don't think you can be as active as you'd like to be, sit down for an hour, schedule out a week. Bam, you're good to go. A lot of people do that. A lot of people do that on their Facebook, on their Instagram. It's a job and start treating it like a job. Awesome. Um, set goals. I find that goals really, really help. Again, Twitch. Donation goals, sub goals, cheer goals, uh, goals on your Twitter, things you want to accomplish this month, money goals, subscription goals. People love contributing to to a goal. Um, it drives a lot of people and they like being part of something. So use goals as a way to keep that train going. And when you have those goals met, do something really cool. Let's talk about the paid subscription versus a free account on OnlyFans. There are two types of accounts. My legs are falling asleep. Ooh. There are two types of accounts on OnlyFans. There's a paid subscription where no matter what, they have to pay to see your timeline. For example, mine is $12 a month. There's a free to follow. So you can follow, you can see their timeline posts. With the free to follow, you can also lock certain posts behind and they can unlock it on the timeline versus the paid account you don't have that option but every single subscriber is paying you need to ask yourself what you think is more beneficial i post a lot of content on my only fans and i reply to my people daily okay i have conversa conversations with them daily so therefore I have a paid subscription because half of that subscription is being able to talk to me every single day. I don't do that with, with my other socials. I barely answer them. Um, I just don't have time, right? My time is devoted to those people who are supporting my content. Free subscriptions can work, um, but I feel like they really work well for influencers that have huge followings, right? Because, yeah, their timeline might be free. They're mostly just posting the same stuff on other socials, I've noticed. And But then they'll lock certain things behind and say, you know, if you have 20,000 followers on your 
on your OnlyFans for free and 1,000 of those people buy a $5 unlocked post, that's five grand right there for one post. Bam. I mean, minus the percentage. So more like four grand. Um, but the volume is higher. So the money is higher. So take that into consideration. Smaller creators, I personally think a paid subscription is better because you're not that big. You're not that big yet. And I just feel like if you make it free right off the bat, not a lot of your followers will pay for extra content. It's just how it is. So know your worth and know what type of account you think is better. Utilize the mass DM system. The mass DM system is key. It's great for sending out extra free stuff, extra paid stuff, unlocking it behind paywalls, all that kind of stuff. It's amazing. Take advantage of that. Um, like half your monthly income will come from it, if not more. Nom, 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 nom. My feet are asleep. Let's talk about collaborations. <laughs> Don't just go around. I, I wrote this down. Don't just go around asking promo. Hey, I joined. I just made an OnlyFans account. Can you share me? Hell no, bitch. I'm not sharing you. <laughs> no. So I get this a lot. I get this through my Instagram. I get this through not so much Twitter. I feel like girls on Twitter are just smarter. Um, Instagram. I get a lot of Instagram DMs from girls that don't follow me. I've never chatted to, uh, that want share for shares on Instagram story as well. I don't know you. Why would I share you? (sighs) Your subscribers probably aren't going to like it because same thing. They're going to know you've had no interaction with this person, like at all. Who are they? Just this random person that you're sharing. I (sighs) hate that stuff. I will not share you. And like I said, there's so many girls joining Instagram, Instagram, lol. There's so many girls joining OnlyFans and I think half of them just think it's easy and, oh, I don't have a job anymore. I can't go to work. I'm just going to do some sex work on the side. They're not serious about it. And I'm not, I'm not dealing with you. I'm just, just putting it out there. All right. If you want to be shared by other creators... If you want to be taken seriously, collab with people, okay? Work with them. Develop relationships with them. The best way to grow as content creators is to collaborate. YouTubers do this all the time. They collaborate. They do YouTube videos together. Hey, let's do a video for your channel. Let's do a video for my channel awesome. Hey guys, go subscribe. They did a video. Hey guys, go subscribe. They did a video. Same thing with OnlyFans. Hey guys, we did this set for Holly this month. Amazing. Go check it out. Here's her link. Here's us together. Hey guys, we did this set together. Go check out her page for the other half of the set or her solos or whatever. Collaboration is key if you want to grow and be successful together. We're all in this together. High school musical moment let's work together and make money. It's amazing. But like I said, (laughs) they'll just ask people for shares. For example, Miss Warm J, amazing uh, girl on Twitter, DM'd me and we talked and we we decided we were going to shoot together and she came over to my house and we did, this is like two months ago, we did some really amazing sets. We talked on Twitter for a long while, discussed our prices, what we normally do, how we do our content, how we schedule it, um, you know, pictures back and forth of, of things we thought we would shoot, everything like that. When should we release it? It was really fun. And she came over. We shot for like five, six hours today. We chilled after. We talked. And then she went back home. And it was a really awesome experience. And now we're promoting each other all month of April because these are the sets when we're releasing them. And we shot like five, six different things. Super fun. Her fans love it. My fans love it. They see you together with this person and all of a sudden there's a connection there, right? Me and like my best friend CJ freaking love that girl. My 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 people are constantly like, when are you shooting with CJ again? Where Where's it? Where's it at? So you want to collab with people? Like actually collab with them. Don't just use people. Don't just use other girls. Collab. 
get to know them, work together. Awesome. Let's talk about posing, you know, posing and and just making sets and stuff in general. Take some time to see what works for you. Take some time to kind of feel out your angles, uh, your lighting situations. If you don't have studio lights, try to find, you know, your good window spots in your house, all that kind of stuff. Invest in a little bit of lighting. Ring, ring lights do a hell of a good job. Um, there's so much you can do on your phone, which is great if you can. Ugh. Invest in a good little camera. I've got my Canon, which I'm shooting on. This guy is my Sony 5600. It shoots 4K. It's a good little guy. So you need equipment, right? Uh, whether it's your phone, whether it's a camera setup, lighting, tripods, self timers, uh, know your equipment. I can't tell you how many hours I have wasted Googling and YouTubing uh, content creation and lighting setups and how to make the most with your lighting and camera equipment, what lenses to buy. You need to be well versed in a lot of things, right? You're basically doing a lot of the photography yourself. Again, especially because of COVID-19, a lot of us can't shoot together at the moment. So you need to make sure you know what you're doing. It's basically it. Learn your angles, learn your poses, experiment with things, look into your analytics on OnlyFans and see what sets are selling more. See, uh, hey, is there anybody interested in foot content? You like this? Let me know. Experiment. Not everything has to do well. Find those things that do well, continue with them, and, and go from there. You want to evolve as a creator and continue to grow. Along those lines... Don't let people tell you what to do. Keep your standards. If you are comfortable with something, do it. If you're not, do, don't do it. Don't let people that are giving you money dictate the type of content you do. All right? I get it too. You know, oh, I can get so-and-so stuff for cheaper. That's fine. You can go there, man. Like, no, no offense taken here. Oh, um... Yeah, this is boring. I had someone tell me that the other day that they think my shit's boring. Why? You know why? Because they tried to get a set for cheaper. They said, I bought one of your sets before. Um, do you have cheaper prices for people who are recurring? Can I get this set for cheaper because I've bought one thing before? And I said, no, no, I'm not lowering my prices if this gets leaked. It affects me. I keep my prices a certain certain degree, a certain level, because that's what I'm comfortable with, and this is what I do. And they started, they started being a little bitch on my timeline and told me my content is boring because I wouldn't give them a discount. I muted them. <laughs> Bye. I don't need you. Don't let people dictate what you're worth. Don't let them get to you. You're going to have some people say some nasty shit to you. Just mute them. Move on. They probably won't know they're muted. They'll continue paying for things and talking shit about you. It's all good. But yeah. Don't cheapen your content because someone says it's not worth it. Don't do it. The more we all cheapen our content the cheaper we all are. If you think you are worth a certain amount, stick to it. Be competitive with your prices, sure. But don't let the guys dictate it. I'm sorry. It's not how this goes. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, privacy. Let's talk about privacy for a second. There was a girl that was saying um, one of her or a few of her subscribers kept saying they wanted to meet her right? Meet is actually a banned word on OnlyFans, like literally, because it's not safe, all right? And the site knows it. It's not an escorting site. And if people are asking you these things, you need to be firm and tell them to stop. You are a virtual experience. You are not a in-person physical experience. You never will. And they need to get that idea out of their head. It is safe. It isn't safe. It's creepy. 
And if you don't tell them off for that and set those boundaries, then things could get a little rough and you don't want that. So set those boundaries. Happens to me a lot when people ask me for vagina photos. I kid you not. When can I see your vagina? You're not. This is the type of content that I do. This is what I like to do. Um, I'll let you know if anything changes in the future, but for now, this is what I provide. This is what I'm comfortable with. And if it's not something you're into, there are tons of other creators. I'm sure you can go see that type of content there. Stick to your guns, be real with them, um, and let them know your boundaries. Don't just ignore it and, and tr keep trying to take their money. Um, I don't think that not being honest is okay. You need to be honest with them. If you're not comfortable with something, let them know. Um, most will say, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I'm, I'm, it won't happen again. I've had that. People will send me their dick and I'm like, don't send me your dick. No, no, no. And they're like, oh, I'm sorry. Won't happen again. Thanks, bro. They continue to subscribe because I'm honest. I, I'm not here for it. All right. So set those boundaries, let your audience know. Every once in a while, you get a bad apple. It just happens. But for the majority of them, they'll be pretty okay with it. So speak up for yourself. I mean, that's about it for my notes. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got a little bit of information out of this video. And if you want to peek my OnlyFans, it's OnlyFans.com slash Holly T. Wolf. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Holly Wolf. Lol. <laughs> Everything will be in the description down below. But yeah, hope you liked it. Guys, don't be dicks to females. We work pretty hard, uh, even though you may not think we do. That's all. Bye. <laughs> I'm such a loser. Did you hear that laugh? What the fuck was that? <laughs>